All right, let's get ready to feel the power of the Ultimate Warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Raj, and I am here today with another figure review unboxing. And today, even though it's unpunched and I almost hate doing it, we're going to be opening up and reviewing this WWE Superstars Mattel Ultimate Warrior. Uh, these are kind of the Remco AWA uh, He-Man style figures. Um, these are really, really nice figures. I definitely want to get the Hall and the Nash and the Hogan so I can have the NWO as well. I'm definitely not chasing all of these for sure. I've got the Hogan already. Um, I should have the video up unboxing that on the channel already. Um, but this warrior, I had to, had to have. Um, no question about it. Got lucky, found him. And I don't know. I'm really excited about this. I love the package design. I almost hate opening it up. Uh, but this one definitely needs to go on my display with the rest of my Ultimate Warrior stuff. Uh, like, just already in the packaging, this figure looks incredible. And I can't wait to get it out because I think this, gonna, this thing is just going to blow me away. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and get it open again. Uh, these are the Superstars figure line. Uh, these, I believe, are a Walmart exclusive. Uh, so, if you're looking for any of these, check out your local Walmarts. These are the He-Man Match of the Universe style figures. So, right away, this guy's got a bag on the back of it. It's got some extra hands in it, so that's pretty, pretty nice. Love that added value there. Um, these Superstars figures, typically if you find them in store or in a run, you have probably about 20, I believe. Um, so, you know, it's kind of odd that these smaller figures cost more than, you know, some basics or even elites. Um, but at the same time, um, I don't know, uh, they do a lot of extra work in terms of, like, soft goods jackets and extra hands and things like that. Uh, and of course the packaging is really cool too. So I, I think, um, I don't know. I, at first I thought, is it really worth 20? I was thinking maybe closer to possibly 15. Uh, but after opening the Hogan, honestly, I do think 20 is probably a solid, uh, price for them. And boy, I cannot get this damn baggie open. This thing is, uh, taped down. Holy cow. <sighs> Is this thing trying to record a TV show where it pretends to be a boy is so taped down? Good lord. Um, Alright, so maybe just rip these open. Do the Hogan shirt tear on the baggie. Oh, my, man. Oof. I knocked that camera open. I knocked that camera over. This video is going to end real abruptly because uh, big yikes. Alright, so we've got ourselves... Look, check it out. It's, uh, it's uh, Mae Young just kicking out hands. And if you get that joke, welcome to the club. Hashtag dad club. Anyways, so this guy's got three extra hands with him. Actually, he's got four. I'm sorry, the fourth one fell out. So we've got two closed gripped hands. We've got two wide open hands, kind of like the, you know, you know, feel the power hands or something. So there's those, really nice. Now let's go and get the figure off the bubble. Okay, there we go. All right, so first impression, I love the colors on this figure. They are bright, the deco's very nice, they stand out well. Definitely embodies the overall look of the Warrior very well, because that dude was just insanely massive and just shredded to the gills. I love the soft goods jacket. Uh, the back of the duster um, has the image from his actual comic book that he did. Um, so I think I still actually might have that thing floating around somewhere. Uh, Warrior number one. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, and that's really cool. I like that. That actually looks really nice. And like I said, the jacket feels good. Which is cool. Uh, I'm not going to take the jacket off because, man, sometimes those things are such a pain in the ass to get back on. But it's got the tassels on the arms. You know, typical Ultimate Warrior stuff. Love the... They made sure to put the symbols practically all over damn near everything on him. Gauntlets there. Uh, didn't put one on the boots. Definitely got them on the knee pads and all over the trunks. So that's nice. Um, the joints feel nice. I don't like that. Some random marks there. Let me see if I can... Nope. And that is not coming off real easy either. So not sure what that is. That sucks. Uh, so I guess it's good. I'm definitely keeping the duster on. Uh, no issues on that side though. Um, hip joints feel nice and definitely feels like your typical Motu figure in terms of just, I don't know, like, um, 
they have posability, but you know, just in general, when you try to pose them, it feels like there's almost none. Like it's, it's, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. If you've ever played with a Motu figure, or if you've opened any before, you know what I mean. Um, but let's go ahead and check out the arms. Range of motion, not bad. Um, yeah, elbows are good and tight. Shoulder joints are good and tight. Um, don't go too far out on the shoulders though. Once you have the arms up, they just kind of um, go straight up or straight out like a bird. So there you go like that. Now let's go ahead and uh, change out one of these hands real quick and let's see how, um, how easy that goes. I know that a lot of times these Motu figures, Motu style figures, uh, the hands and all the joints and stuff change out pretty easy on them because they're kind of designed to where you can really do a lot of customizing with them very easily. Um, so that's, that's kind of standard with them. Uh, gauntlets do not slide off. Okay, wait a second. Nope, they do slide off. So gauntlets do slide off. So if for some reason you need to do some customizing with it, the gauntlets do slide off once you remove the hands. But yeah man like it feels good the colors are nice i don't like the black mark on the side of the leg that's a little lame we've got some little peg holes there in the bottom for the feet which is cool that'll kind of help you display it if you got some figure stands uh the face design on it good paint application is very clean hair simple to the point you know don't need a whole lot to it i mean that's about the best you could ask for i mean I'd maybe want it to be a little bit darker, but overall though, I still think it looks pretty great. Um, but yeah, the design of the jacket looks awesome. And this figure actually feels really nice in hand. I really liked the Hogan once I had him open, uh, but this warrior is definitely, definitely good. Like I, I really, really like this. Like, there you go. Just put him up there, do the grill price slam with him. That's a, I like that. This is very, very, very nice. Uh, kudos Mattel for doing a very nice job on this. Um, I love warrior stuff, so I'm definitely happy to get this one added. But man, this thing looks good. It feels good. Um, real nice design. I love the duster, man. Just like having that big, giant piece of art there on the back there for it. Um, it's just a really, really nice touch. So I definitely, definitely like this. I, honestly, it, shit, I'd give this one a 10 out of 10. Like, it's cool. Like, all the joints feel good. The paint's great. Um... Actually, conservatively, I'm going to give it a 9.5 uh, just because of the, the, you know, they got some leftover paint on the legs. I'm not quite as picky about that stuff, but not everybody's as forgiving as me. I know people who will just flat out just kill a score or something like that. So we'll go 9.5 uh, because of that paint issue there. Um, and, I'll, I'll, and actually, I'll call it 9.5 because of the paint issue, but also because they didn't put a belt with it. I think they put should have put some kind of winged eagle with this i think that would have been perfect they put the nwo spray painted belt with hogan uh they could have put like you know that teal you know winged eagle with this one or something even the yellow icy title would have been cool because uh, of all the yellow trim um on the gear but overall though killer figure love it nine and a half out of ten if you're a warrior guy at all or if you're a mo2 wwe guy get this damn figure totally worth it um fantastic job mattel uh, very, very nice. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for this Ultimate Warrior Superstars figure unboxing and review. Thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. If you want to chat with me, feel free to hit me up um, on my Instagram. Follow me there at Collecting Raj as well. Make sure you follow me on Whatnot as well. Also there at Collecting Raj. And then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. So that way I know you guys are still enjoying all the content I've got. Uh, and also, I've got a lot of stuff in the can. I'm still trying to get uploaded into the channel, so be patient with me. i uh, got a new job, so I've been real busy lately. Really trying to play catch up at this point, but definitely got a lot. I've got probably seven or eight unboxing videos in the can just waiting to be unleashed for you guys. So uh, just give me a couple days, and hopefully I'll be all caught up and I'll be good to go. But thank you guys for checking out the video. Feel the power of the warrior. And as always, have yourselves an awesome week.